Advent, it's a term that refers to the coming of a notable person or event. The, the word is synonymous with the anticipation of the coming Messiah Jesus and his birth at Christmas. It's in Luke chapter 1 where we begin to see the story unfold of God sending his son Jesus to the earth. Just as the Old Testament prophets foretold, one would be born to prepare the people for the coming of the Messiah. Uh, we call him John. This was his purpose, to prepare us. Just like with anything, there is great hope in things to come when we're waiting in anticipation and excitement. My son said to me the other day, I just can't wait to open my presents, Dad. But if I were to open them today, I would totally ruin Christmas. I get that. Hope is really important. We all have it, and we all place our hope in something. But let me ask you, it's a really important question. What's killing your hope these days? Think about it and be honest. What's dampening your expectation or desire for what's ahead? Spiritually speaking, what might be getting in the way of what God wants for you and what He's doing in your life and what He's preparing you for when the violent wind of negativity and doubt hit? We need something more than what the world offers us. I mean like the things we can buy, consume, or the things that attract us. We need Jesus. God's not hiding hope from us. He's not harboring it in heaven. He's not neglecting us or holding back. It's there for the taking, believe me. Uh, we're starting a short sermon series uh, called what we all should want for Christmas. In the series, we'll go through Advent themes like hope and peace and faith and joy. This will be our study up until Christmas. So let's get into Luke chapter 1 and take some time together and read through the first chapter, then discuss the study questions provided for you.